After a devastating loss in the last game, we're here at Davenport v. St. Clair is going to be a, our final match for today, uh, potentially, or I believe it is, no matter is. what, win or lose, but win, Saints will be in it, lose, they will not. <laughs> Very simple and apt way to put it, my friend. We are here in the final match of the day against Davenport University, a very respectable, very adversarial college or establishment that we've gone against and many other titles. And here it's all on the line. Winner qualifies for Unirocketeers. Loser does not. It cannot get more simple than that. But when it, things are simple, that means it's a lot of room to really shine. And I think the Saints want to be glowing right now want to be, but can they be is a question. Ben going to go on the offense here, trying to get something from up high. Can't quite get it. Strikes down to the earth. Now it's up in the air once again. Season there. Going to try and go for something. But wow, Ben oh. and Christian, the dynamic duo, going to get a beautiful goal. Very well done. You love to see it, especially right off the bat. We like, we love saying and repeating over and over again that our team is just a slow starter. But at the start of the first game and the first round, we're seeing them already getting some nice shots in. That puts a lot of confidence in you. Puts a lot of confidence. It's how you want to start after such a hard last series. You couldn't get the momentum. But now you're starting things off hop. You got to try and carry the momentum to the very end. Absolutely, and right now we're seeing if the Saints can try to maintain this. Hey, like you said, game one, point one, still a lot more Rocket League to play, but at least it's a good showing. It's a, light, it's a nice start. And very much the opposite of that last series we saw the Saints playing in. They are the ones right now just laying on that constant thick offense, and it's really difficult for Davenport University to, to rip post or parry off of the Saints' plays because they're just so dense in their attacks. It's really difficult to try to parse through it or really make something uh, kind of tie together here. But right now we're seeing Vesh try to get close and aggressive with this ball. Christian's going to get demoed out. Ben, nice clear, centering it up for Vesh to take control, sending it right down the center, and that's a really nice save coming out from Pyra, but uh, unfortunately, it's not going to be enough because the Saints are maintaining that pressure. Pyra getting a beautiful shot uh, and pass going to go slightly awry, and the Saints are just going to try to reset, passing it back towards their own side, just get better control, and uh, really send it the way they want to, but it's going to backfire a little bit. We're seeing uh, Davenport University kind of make a breakaway and steal it out, try to turn this into their own offensive pressure, and the Saints are kind of scrambling now to re maintain control and reestablish it, but eventually Ben's going to find his way out with that ball. We're right back over to blue side. Let's keep playing, guys. Yeah, well, let's keep playing. Parag doing an amazing job. Nice shot on the goal, but it's not going to be enough. There's going to be another taking a shot on the goal there. Vesh going to be passing it over to Christian for the double shot once again. Christian going to try and tee that one up. Vesh going to go for the dunk, but someone's going to save that one out. Then going to go over to the side here, try and find this one out. Zubira going for a nice air shot, going to pass it over to Season there. That's not going to be enough. And be the luck to block that one out. Christian the pressure on on the offense but they need to shore up their defense Ooh. as para finds the net wide open not a soul nearby and that's gonna put davenport one to one yeah the saints are really far up there vesh usually not even the one at the back line here but he's even the one going for the save because he just happened to be in the area that was a bit of a breakaway shot you saw coming up from davenport university unexpected one for uh the saints and they weren't ready for it unfortunately but still the saints offense does seem more tight and more um relentless so far but davenport university is making a very solid comeback and it feels now on the field things are a little bit more or even and it's not as one-sided as it once was not one-sided not at all it's even across the board only a minute 30 remaining Davenport could just as easily turn this one around I mean look at this aggression we're seeing until the Saints are starting to get nervous they don't have that barrier they had once again they need to try to win this one back they don't want to lose their momentum here sure you can lose a goal here and there but you cannot let that ball get too close to the goal once again but it looks like they're going to just keep slamming it over there now Saints making their blitz Vesh on the defense once again but I think they want to sink him on the offense here he has Max boost he might try to go for something here he's saving it up for something getting a lot of speed here christian looking to tee something up can't quite get it perfect and is going to get the clear 
Yeah, and now we're seeing Ben really try to turn this into something a little bit more substantial. We're going to see Christian get demoed, and when you're playing offense, it's going to be a huge blow to your momentum since he does so much to get the setups. Even coming off of a respawn, he's getting a nice setup going. And uh, unfortunately, no goal is going to follow up. We're going to see Saxton here try to roll this one off the center. Christian going to be coming in from downtown. Like I said, setting up a shot. This could be the last time we're seeing of the game, but Byra is going to be able to try to almost get that save, but eventually it's going to get put down. Ladies and gentlemen, it is looking like we're going to an overtime here as soon as this ball hits the ground. Our first overtime for today. I'm excited to see how it goes. We haven't seen the Saints perform in an overtime just yet. I'm not sure if Davenport has either. Either way, it should be very interesting to see. Both teams are definitely running out of gas at this point. We've already had to play at least three games. So the stamina should be running out, but you can tell that they're still locked in, so hungry for these wins. Things are just as lively as ever. It looks like Davenport is going to be forced to go on the defense. Neither team wants to let this one go. These series points matter more and more. Para going for a massive air carry. Can't quite find it. Christian looking for an opening, but Mira going to find that one out. It's just back and forth here over and over. Right now, Fesh, the wall crawler, Spider-Man himself, just riding the wall, always looking for a chance to take it nice and slowly into the center, in the sky, because that's the ideal position to take the shot. Very difficult to defend against that setup, and we're seeing Vesh once again taking it up there. It's gonna get tipped away, but Christian off of that rebound of the save, gonna tip it in off of his front, and that's gonna be the Saints taking this game one over Davenport University in a very, very, very tight fashion. Yeah, very beautiful play from the Saints. Good start. A little bit shaky near the end, but they managed to clean it up in the overtime. And now we just have a few more potential games left. If the Saints can keep this up, if they can keep getting better against Davenport, I think they might be able to take this one. If I had to guess 3-0 or 3-1, I don't see Davenport waking up all too much, but I still think each game is going to be close. For sure. And and we always say it again, the Saints pretty slow on the start. And if they're winning this game one, they still haven't really had the time to really adapt and understand their opponent's play style. I think it spells well for them. It's far from guaranteed. Davenport University putting up a really solid fight in this first game. I. I, I really can't say for sure which one, which way this one's going to go. Um, we've seen the Saints in this situation a lot before, and it's gone either way many times. So just going to have to wait and see for the rest of the series to take it through as we get into this Game 2 situation. What I'm seeing from Davenport as well is they're very consistent. They don't have as quite as huge power spikes as some other teams. Mm. Yeah ruthlessly consistent with how aggressive they are and how defensive they are. I mean, look at that. They just Ooh. get beautiful setups, but sometimes they just can't close it out because the Saints have those powers, but sometimes they have the best defense or the best offense. You just have to catch them at the right time when they're doing the triple commit like they are now. Exactly, <laughs> but Ben kind of recognizing that, making his way back, but a really nice, confident right up the wall, just doing his calculations in his head to predict, to predict exactly where that ball was going to be and exactly where he needed to be to get it to where he needs to get it to go. Christian, Gonna bump it back, Para. A shot's gonna come out, and it's gonna be a slow one. Both of them committing for that save, but none of them committing for that recovery, unfortunately. They're uh, really struggling there. It was just such a fast shot that it kind of left both defenders kind of knocked out for a yeah, second. It was a, it was a tricky shot. They got the initial save, but no one was there. There's not a third there. Vesh was somewhere else, nowhere to be seen for that save. I think he was trying to go for a setup. But wow, big save from Huge. Christian. Davenport not letting up off the gas. They definitely want to get a two-point lead here. For sure, Saints absolutely don't want that to happen. I don't think a single time today we've seen them down two points and make a recovery. Uh, and I don't think they want to be going down two points for any reason. And a nice, simple, cheap little shot there. Nothing fancy. You just hit the ball into the net. Nobody stopped you. Sometimes, even at this high of a level, these kinds of goals just happen. And we're seeing uh, the Saints really just bring it back. Exactly. It's all about threading the needle here in Rocket League. You just have to find the right timing and the right positioning. Mm -hmm. There's always a gap in the defense. You can never cover all your bases. So as long as you can find that one million shot, things will work.
look out in your favor, Christian going for a big lob over to the blue side. Vesh going to be the one to speed that ball a little bit up. That's going to go back over to 16. I think that's what the name is now. Really 16 Maybe. is going to be my guess. Called Saxton or something? Saxton, yeah. <laughs> See if you on the brain. Exactly, tell. not enough vowels in that one for me. But Bira going to take the lead here, try and clear it out this ball. Ben going for a nice off the wall shot. Christian going to meet that ball once again, get a nice setup going. It's all up in the air right now. Davenport going to go on a little bit of aggressive play, going for a triple commit. They want to try and get a goal here as the Saints net was open. And we see Bira trying to go up top once again, slam back down. It's not clear, but Vesh finally gets the clear. It's all going to be up to Para to be the defender for Davenport. We've seen it with the Saints goal this game. Uh, having an immaculate and uh, impressive, stylish offense really doesn't matter all that much. You just need a consistent one, like you see the Saints going for a beautiful shot there. Para, thankfully going to be able to save that one out, but kind of going to show my point. You mentioned Davenport has a really consistent style, where the Saints are a little bit more inconsistent. And I feel like consistency favors you very much, because like we saw the Saints goal in this game, sometimes you just get those cheap roller shots that no one's able to stop just because there's so many all at a time, one after the other. You're not able to defend everything. Even the best team will eventually falter at some point. You can't have a 100% save rate. So being able to constantly just lay on the offense can go a long way in your success. And I feel like right now the Saints are trying their best to be a little bit less sporadic with it and maybe close. graceful with their saves. Yeah, graceful with their saves, but it's still getting pretty tough with how close these goals are getting. And now we see Saxon here going up on the top here. Gonna go for an air carry, getting it very fast, but it's just kind of going into this corner, which is gonna get cleared up by Vashbira. Trying to stop that momentum there. And now Para going for the shot with Vira. They want to set up Ben trying to get the clear. Beer can't find it in the air. Demo comes out from Para on Vesh, stopping any offense from the Saints. But no, they're still going to go for it. Christian going to go up top, try and get a setup. Can't quite get it. Para going to send it right back down. Vesh now going with the triple commit, going for a shot with his team. Can't quite find it. Don't get the 50, unfortunately. Christian going to be back in the corner here. He has to clear this. Now Para finding an opening. Gets, <laughs> I think he's heading for the ball, but he got a demo instead, getting something out of that boost. Now Vesh is the one to try and stall this one out once again. Only 45 seconds left in the match. Things are looking very even. Ooh, both missing there. Uh, trying to rocket that one out of orange side, but eventually they're going to repossess it by the rest of Davenport. Seeing if they can set themselves up for success here. Para taking this one to the skies. Ben going to take it away from him and tip it towards the net. Wow! An excellent tipper shot! You call that a shield breaker if it was smashed the way that was just so perfectly just placed. Ooh! That was like the hood of the car. That wasn't even like the Yeah, front. exactly. That was just the lip of the hood, just barely graced. The emblem. That ball, yeah. Oh my god. Beautiful, Beautiful play though. Now the Saints are ahead. No one was expecting that. Davenport are gonna be scrambling for one last shot on the goal. That's all they're gonna have time for us. There's 15 seconds left in counting. Saxon gonna try and carry it forward. The Saints need to shore up their defense. And what's the best defense but a little bit of offense? Gonna try and keep it over on that blue side. Five seconds left in the match it's heading towards that blue goal it's on the ground that's gonna be one just needs to touch the ground there it is the Saints somehow I thought that was gonna go to overtime somehow getting two in the series just like that perfect clip of the ball towards that net I don't think anyone saw that coming maybe even he didn't but I'm sure he did if he went for it and it's gonna pay off in the end taking this game two to one here Saints also 2-0 in the series one win away from getting their way into the Union Rocket Series championship so they are really hoping that they can tie it together and make sure they stay on top of their a game here maintain this pressure and keep pushing through for this series yeah, now the pressure's on. You don't want to choke here. You have two points in the series. You want to try and just get the clean sweep, get mm -hmm. a 3-0. Sure, you can maybe lose one here, but you just want to get the 3-0. Let's be real. They need that. They haven't got... I don't think they've gotten a 3-0 today, have they? Ah, uh, I don't think so, no. No, they haven't. Uh, their two games was 3-1. There's their DQ, and then here we are. <laughs> here we are. Now, looking for the clean sweep against Davenport. The Saints are coming out with fangs bared here. 
with how they're blitzing it towards this net. They want to get the early goal. They want to get that insurance because they play so much better with it. Uh oh, it's gonna be Here. Davenport leading the charge. Yeah, first goal going their way, and uh, in quite the impressive fashion. The Saints' defense is not ready. I think they were kind of relying on Vesh to get that one there and uh, trying to even get the recovery shot uh, on that defense was not quite there. An unpredictable situation. You have to try to adapt as fast as you can, and that's quite a difficult ask to make. But it seems like the Saints are wanting to answer back as fast as they can. Just really zooming towards the ball a little bit more aggressively than usual, actually. And this one's going to go towards the post. Ben's catching that one up, bumping it over to the corner. But now it's going to find its way barreling towards orange side. Christian's going to deflect that, prevent it from going any further. Vesh also swatting this one out of the air towards Ben. He could go for the shot, but no. We're going to see Section here take that one out. And Vesh is going to just barely get the possession taken from him. Ben getting stolen from once again. Christian on the ground. Dash getting demoed right from underneath him. They're going to get the clear, thankfully. That was the breath of fresh air that they needed to breathe. And that's a slow roller in, almost finding its path. Unfortunately, a little too slow. Let's find his way in. Slow the Saints. Still in control of the ball, I would say. Not letting up off these shots. Ben almost got the beautiful shot saved up by Para. Now, Looks like they need to go back on the defense, get a little bit of boost. That was a big commit earlier. Now things are looking relatively safe. What a bounce, though, by Vesh, sending him halfway across the map, just utterly disrupting his plans. Now Ben going to go for an absolutely oh. beautiful goal, but that's going to be Saxton with a beautiful save. Yeah, Saxon getting a great play there. Vesh trying to catch that one on the ground, unfortunately, a little too slow for it then. Catching these air balls so consistently and also almost as consistently getting him, getting them stolen from him. But uh, that's just the way of the game of sometimes. He's going to at least get a demo out of that one. Christian sideswiping it, catching it back. Over to the corner, to the center, and that's going to be a nice shot, unfortunately. Wow. Overshooting just a little bit. The ball kind of lost control there, and we're going to see Saxon making a breakaway towards Orange side. At least it's going to stall for time, give them time to get their response back in. But Ben, demo back to back on Farah here. Vesh taking this up to the skies, tipping it up. Maybe he can go for a nice uh, bank shot off the ground. Unfortunately, he's not going to find it. Saxon's going to take this away into the skies, onto the ground. No pinch shot here. No, sir. Para. Ben's got to jump over him to avoid the demo. Byra taking this one back. Christian's deflecting that one into the sky. And underneath, he's going to catch that ball. A self pass. And underneath the defender, he's going to launch that one straight. And look at that play. Excellent. D excellently done. Christian is absolutely <laughs> one of the most insane Rocket League players I've ever witnessed for sure. Absolutely insane. And now, halfway through, we're all even up on the scoreboard. Two minutes left on the clock. It's anyone's game now, but it looks like it's Christian's game as he finds the back-to-back. -back. Absolutely insane. Someone decided to wake him up. This guy, he's <laughs> usually very chill-looking, very calm, but I've seen how close he sits to his monitor, okay? <laughs> this guy is counting pixels, and that's how he's able to get these shots so consistently. And I guess he finally finished counting, so now he can actually focus on the game instead of the pixel count here. And uh, I think now the Saints are activated! Three goals back to back to back in the this game three situation, the Saints really just want to get out of here, go home and watch a movie because they don't want to stick around for a game four. No, they do not. It's still maybe tieable for Davenport. Absolutely. But it's still, I mean, what is going on here? It looks like the Saints have just Another figured out one. how to get them over and over. Oh, my oh, gosh. Man. I was about to freak out if they got that one. I, I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't freak out myself, but I'd have to rein you back a little bit. Make sure you don't freak out too much and do more damage to this desk than we already have. <laughs> but here we're seeing Christian taking this one once again over to the corner. Ben. Beating it up in the center. It's going to get pop flyed up. It's right there, Vesh! Just barely missing that one. They're going to get swiped out in the nick of time off the hood. 
taking it to the skies and with just a minute on the clock and the Saints offense not stopping anytime soon. The pinch shot with the assistance from Besh underneath. Ben coming out from downtown once again. The Saints are just coming out back to back to back, but it's all going to result in Davenport getting one more goal. The Saints triple committed, just really forced this one. I think they all wanted to get a shot here. Eventually, it's going to catch them in the back, and uh, we're going to be looking at one goal away from a tie in this game three situation. They definitely got caught up in the ego a little bit there. Yeah. They're like, let's keep taking these shots. I mean, we got three in a row. Why not keep well, it going? Well, if it works. But if it works, it works. But with one minute remaining, you might want to tighten up that defense just a little bit mm -hmm. as Davenport is able to tie this one up. And they were in the lead for most of this game. You don't want to let that one slip away, especially when you're on such a crucial, crucial point. And now they're up. They could qualify for the Unirocketeers here, but you could just as easily have it slip away. But now Besh finds mm -hmm. an opening. Ben is on the defense there, going to try and get something. 30 seconds remain left on the clock. Byra gonna go, try and go with his team. Christian trying to shore up the defense as well. Keeping it up over on that blue side. They want to just stall for time at this point. 15 seconds left in the game. Vesh gonna go for a massive air carry off the wall, carrying it to victory. Oh my gosh, can he get the final dunk? No, he cannot. But it's looking like the team that is going to win and qualify for the Unirocketeers is St. Clair College with a 3-0 victory in the series. Yeah, absolutely. Davenport putting up an excellent fight there near the end, but unfortunately it is going to roll away from them and the Saints are going to be flying high into the Unirocketeers League. And absolutely credit where credit is due to the Saints and of course to Davenport University really putting on a great fight and of course a great show for us to watch but Saints are going to take this one in the end. Yeah, Saints take it but you know they played a really good game only mm -hmm. losing out to Mississippi and can you blame them they just played so well but now they'll be able to meet them again later on in the Unirock tiers, I'm sure. It'd be nice to see them get their revenge. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you don't want to get revenge on us for wrapping up the stream here. It was a fantastic day of Rocket League, but it has come to an end, and we hope you've enjoyed your stay, and we hope you enjoy our sponsors, Tim Hortons, HyperX, Subway, St. Clair College, SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. Yeah, thank you to everybody in the back. That's going to be Amanda and Tommy holding everything down back there. Thank you to Neil for joining me up here on the desk. It's always a joy and thank you the viewers for staying with us here and make sure to follow our socials to keep up to date on everything saints related and with all that being said we're going to wrap things up here and we'll see you next time have a good day everybody take care